concluding, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a chibi geisha girl. The tutorial is also going to show you how to use the Copic multiliners as well as the Copic chows and sketches. I've already pre-drawn the body. Please refer to our previous tutorial, How to Draw a Chibi Girl, for help with the body. First thing we're going to do is start drawing the eye guidelines. Now use the guidelines to start drawing the eyes. Feel free to make the eyes any shape or size you want. Now to draw the eyeball. Draw from the top of the eyelash to the bottom of the eyelash and this will create our eye. Now add more detail to the eye, such as catching the light and adding shadows. After you're done with the eyes, draw the eyebrows and draw in a mouth. Now on to the hair. There's a lot of ways to draw a geisha hair, but I'm going to go with the simplest way and this is my method. Now it's time to draw a cute kimono for the geisha to wear. Most kimonos near the sleeves usually get longer at the ends, so I'm going to add that. And kimonos are usually not too tight, but they're not very loose either, so it's going to be pretty close to the body. Don't forget the OV or sash around the waist.
Now you're done with your geisha. Now we're going to show you how to line art the drawing. For this drawing, I'm going to use the Copic Multiliner Set B2. From the set, grab the 0.1 and 0.3 millimeter Copic Multiliners. So get your 0.1 millimeter multiliner out and go over your drawing. Make sure to get every detail that you want kept in the line art, and erase everything else. Try to keep your hands steady so that you don't have any jaggedy lines, and that you don't make any mistakes. If you can see here, I made a mistake in the geisha hair, and I'm going to show you how to fix these mistakes. To fix the mistake, you again grab the 0.1 millimeter multiliner, and you create a thicker line, and that eliminates the mistake. It does kind of ruin the effect if you're trying to get thin lines, so do be careful. Okay, I'm going to go over the drawing once again. This time I'm going to use the 0.3mm multiliner so that all of the lines kind of match the mistake I did on top of the hair. And it gives it a kind of cutesy look when the lines are thicker. For a more realistic effect, you'd want to keep your lines thinner. But since we are doing chibis, it doesn't matter. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is draw lines towards the bun. This is going to show the, that the hair is being pulled to the back of the head. And you're going to want to make all the lines go towards the bun. And that's about it. And I am done with my line art. Now to get to coloring. Okay, first thing I always like to do is start with the skin. That way if I make any mistakes and go outside of the lines, that I can cover it up with the hair color. Okay, so for the skin tone, we're going to be using two markers. It's going to be the eggshell and baby skin pink. The first thing I like to do is a base color of eggshell. And the reason I do this is because the eggshell is a very pasty color, which is good. And then I can go on with darker colors and they blend in a lot better. Work quickly though because Copic markers are alcohol based and they dry rather quickly. So if you move slowly, you'll leave marks on the face. And that's something we just don't want. Now we're going to shadow the face. We're going to use the baby skin pink and go over the areas that I think that shadows would appear in. Then very quickly I'm going to grab the eggshell color and then go over the parts that I shaded to blend them in better with the previous base coat of eggshell.
And then once again, I'm going to go back to the baby skin pink and go over the parts that I shaded to make them darker. And then we're done with the skin tones. Now we're going to color the hair. The first color I'm going to use is Pale Thistle. I'm going to do a coat everywhere. Now I'm going to shade the hair. I'm going to use Viola. Grab the Viola marker and then shade the hair. You don't want to go all over the hair and you want to kind of keep it sharp when it goes to the center of the hair to give it a shine. This is called a feather blending technique and I will show you it later in a future tutorial. Wait for it to dry for a little bit and then grab the viola once again and go over it. This will create a little bit darker. Now onto the eye. I'm going to use two markers, frost blue and Tahitian blue. Again. You're going to do a base coat of frost blue and then you're going to get the Tahitian blue and draw the center of the eye and then on the top of the eye. You're going to want to get the top of the eye to blend in a little bit with the bottom of the eye but other than that, you're going to want to keep the top much darker than the bottom. Now a little trick that I do to get the top of the eye to be a, a lot darker is that I grab the BS from the Copic Multiliner set and then I'll go over the Tahitian blue a little bit and then I'll blend it again really quickly with the Tahitian blue and it'll kind of blend together. Now this is not a very good plan because you do end up ruining your Copic sketch a little bit like the brush tip and then you'll need to change it out later on. I would really just suggest getting a different color of a darker shade of blue that's almost close to black but um, since I don't have a darker shade of blue I'm going to do this trick. Oh, and this is totally optional, but you can put the blush color R20 on the skin cheeks to make it look like she's blushing. And that's what I added just now because I forgot to do it earlier. And now onto the kimono. We're going to use two colors. We're going to be using blush and lipstick natural. First, do a layer of blush. Once you're done with that, grab your lipstick natural and shade over that. And that's about it. You're done with that. Now the rest of the geisha's costume is going to be using two markers. The light reddish yellow and loquat. First I'm going to do a base coat of light reddish yellow and then I'm going to go over it with loquat and shade over the areas that I want.
And the last thing for finishing touches, I'm going to use a white gel pen. You can do a lot of different varieties. Um, I know that in Japan that they use a white paint, and you could use white paint lying around, but I do find it hard to use a brush, so I find these gel pens really easy. And I'm just using a Jelly Roll Sakura Medium Pen, and this is just something I had lying around the house. So I hope this tutorial has helped you and you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out our other drawing tutorials such as the Chibi Girl. And also feel free to comment with suggestions for other tutorials. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much. Check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. To get all the latest news, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Oh, Taco Fuel. Meow.